What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, I was getting ready to get out of here. You know, I'm going to be on the road, and I've got to do work over in that farmhouse and stuff, and I need to put up a railing for my parents and things like that, so I'm going to be gone. And as I'm uploading, because I've learned that if I leave my streaming software on here, I can't use it at home, so I have to be done. And if I leave my computer, um, it goes into sleep mode, and it stops uploading. So when I do these videos they take you know 10 15 minutes or so to go so i sit here and wait for it to upload now i'm gonna have to restart the clock because i'm adding this one here this is uh kind of interesting um the the conversation of course is about dak prescott and what the cowboys are going to do uh with him but i want to go through some numbers i just want you to think about something you know we have we have a lot of people that are Tony Romo fans that still believe that we should have never moved on from Tony Romo, that Tony Romo was incredible, okay? Um, be that as it may, we're in a situation right now where Dak Prescott is playing football for the Cowboys, and they're on the precipice on what do we do going forward. Let's listen in. He's on the last year of his deal, and many have wondered how the Cowboys are going to handle this going forward. Remember, despite falling short of expectations in the playoffs, Dak was one of the best quarterbacks in the league last season. Here's Jerry Jones on the quarterback yesterday. Dak wants to do any and everything he can on and off the field to help us win. We are where we are. We have our contract. We're locked and loaded for this year. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, we can see as we move along uh, how we are thinking, we inclusive of everybody here, us, Dak, uh, and we'll see what we do. I don't have anything to report today. Well, let's see if Graz has something to report. Our insider Dan Graziano joining us now. And Graz, explain to us the thinking here from the Cowboys. Oh, I thought you were asking me to translate Jerry Jones. No, the, what the Cowboys yes. are thinking is um, is not just about this year's salary cap number, which is 55.1, but next year's, which is already uh, a little over 40 million, and he's not even under contract for next year. So if they were to restructure, or even if they were to extend him now, that would only add to next year's salary cap number, and uh, they're very conscious of the idea that the cap's probably not going to go up by 30 million again like it did this year. So if they can do it, the Cowboys would love to keep Dak Prescott on this year's cap number and work around it. They know they can go into that contract and restructure some salary if they need to, but they'd rather not because they want to make sure that they don't inflate future cap numbers too much. This is the year with the big cap increase. Mm -hmm. Financially, as weird as this sounds, it makes more sense for the Cowboys to wait until next offseason to extend him than it does to do it this offseason. I think he did a pretty good job translating Jerry right there because it's really all in the money. Thank you. And, and as we mentioned, Dak Prescott led the NFL numbers. in touchdown Just, passes uh, last season, had a great year, becoming the first quarterback in Cowboys history to be the NFL's outright leader in touchdown passes in a season. Uh, okay, I want you to look at these numbers right now, okay? I know what they're going to try and tell you is, well, this year was an MVP down year, you know, and um, that, that, that's the only reason why Dak Prescott was a finalist for the league MVP. OK, that, that's what they're going to try and tell you. But go on. He posted the second highest QBR in the NFL, trailing only Brock Purdy and finished as the runner up to Lamar Jackson for the MVP award. A 73 QBR, 70 percent completion percentage. 36 TDs and only nine interceptions and a 105 rating. Go on. And then what did you think of Jerry and the Cowboys approach here with Dak? Oh, they, it's confusing because you one of two things this. happens. If they don't get a restructure done, I don't think they will because if they were going to, it should have happened before free right. agency. One of two things happens. Dak is going to play well again this year. He does basically every season. If he plays in the regular season the way he does this past season, it's either going to be a $65 million contract because that's what it's going to demand or he's going to walk in free agency. Mm. He's not under contract. So they're going to get absolutely nothing for him. The Cowboys are expecting a Super Bowl. So if Dak plays really well and doesn't get a Super Bowl, they're going to be sitting there and either giving him a ton of cash or going to get nothing for him. 
And this roster has holes in it. And for everybody that wants to continue to tell me, guys, they got three picks in the top 174 picks of the NFL draft. They're down five starters. Mm. So to think that this team is a Super Bowl caliber football team when they are a lesser team than the one that got molly by the Packers last year and their quarterback is in a play and win or, or, or go elsewhere contract, it, it's mind-boggling how much they fumbled this. Yeah, molly is a very underrated word, but <laughs> correctly used here in this case. When the Dak Prescott contract wasn't restructured or renewed, I think that told us all the things we needed to know about the way Jerry Jones sees his now starting quarterback. And so you go into this season with the lame duck coach and the lame duck QB. That's a recipe for mm -hmm. failure. Not to mention, you don't add any pieces right, around I'm, I'm them. I'm the team right that got Molly is still there. But well, now they're less well, I'll, I'll of a team, and you're going to ask Dak, Dak Prescott to bring a lesser team further than he ever has any team in his career. It's just not fair to ask that, and it's not a way to fairly evaluate him going forward. So I agree, Dak Prescott will play the quarterback position well throughout the season. And if I'm Dak Prescott, I'm fully prepared to not only test free agency, but to play somewhere else next year. And mm -hmm. I know we know Dan made jokes about being locked and low and said that this team wasn't loaded from a roster standpoint. Jerry Jones is simply talking about the fact that they are not doing anything with Dak Prescott's contract. Yeah. This is not what would happen to Josh Allen. This is not what would happen to Joe Burrow. This is not what would happen but to Patrick the Mahomes. Cowboys. Because all of those people, all of those teams, know they have their guy. They're clearly telling Dak that he ain't theirs. And for him, I hope that he explores free agency and finds a new logo to represent. Now, I'm going to say that I believe that Dak Prescott wants to be a Cowboy for life, okay? He had the dreams of it. He wants to win a Super Bowl with them. He, he's going to put forth all effort there. So I, I don't believe that that's a situation where he doesn't want to be. But here's what's interesting. For those out there that say that Dak Prescott, you know, his numbers are just average. He's a bum and this, that, and the other. I want you to... Let me see. Do I um, to look at the MVP numbers? Okay. Here, here's what I want you to think about for a second. So, for everybody that says that um, this year doesn't really count as an MVP, okay? This year because it was a down year. In 2014, 2014. Let me see if I can blow it up a little bit here. 2014, Tony Romo's statistically best season, okay? Aaron Rodgers won with 31 votes, uh, had 4,381 yards, 38 TDs, five interceptions, 65.6% um, passing uh, percent. Runners up, Tony Romo had two votes. He was third. With a 12 and 4 record, 3,705 yards, 34 TDs, 9 interceptions, 69.9 on 435 attempts. So, what I want you to, the only thing I'm saying here, I'm not trying to belittle Tony Romo, but here's a little part here I want to add to the situation. Can we all agree that Dak Prescott probably would have played better had he had a great running game? Can we at least agree on that? What's interesting is the fourth person on the list was DeMarco Murray, who also got two votes, who had 1,845 yards rushing on 4.7 yards per carry average. When you have to worry about putting eight men in the box to stop a running back, your job as a quarterback gets to be a hell of a lot better a hell of a lot easier. And so if you put a running attack, a, a, a credible running attack with Dak Prescott, with the Dak Prescott that's been seasoned, not the Dak Prescott that was a rookie and still wet behind the ears, the quarterback that he is right now, the sky is the limit. That is honest to truth. The sky, if you have a good running attack, because understand, 
DeMarco Murray was getting 4.7 yards a carry. Tony Pollard averaged three quarters of a yard less every time he touched the football. Zeke Elliott is averaging a full yard less than what you got from DeMarco Murray. That is huge, guys. That is a chasm. And this is where the Cowboys, you know, we're talking about bringing back Dalvin Cook or uh, Zeke Elliott, you know. They got to be looking for the best running back they can and offensive line. Because I will also point out that year of Tony Romo's, you can't compare what we had for an offensive line to what that offensive line was. Because you had Travis Frederick, Zach Martin, a young Zach Martin, and a Tyron Smith that played all season. That was the pinnacle of the offensive line. That was also an incredible running attack. I'm not saying this to belittle Tony Romo, but for all those out there saying that Dak Prescott's got all kinds of talent, bro, I would love to see Dak with that kind of firepower on the offensive line and a running back. Just saying for you Dak haters out there. All right, good people, I got to get my ass on the road. As always, I appreciate you. Peace out.